they? To find out, Adam and Jamie are testing a myth that to fake the footage, NASA filmed it in a studio and then slowed it down. Now I've seen the movement, I'm going to try and practice jump here. And if you take a close look at the slow motion skip, Adam's efforts to get the correct height and distance. The lower right is much better, but it's not even close. But just like Sir Mick, they still can't get no satisfaction. Well, the slowed down frame rate doesn't match the NASA footage. No. The gravity rig, it's better, but I'd still have to say it doesn't nail it. If you take a close look at the slow motion skip, Adam's efforts to get the correct height and distance. <laughs> Dude, your setup looks perfect. Takes his snap. Take in the shot. So I can hear what you're saying. You're saying, but you guys replicated the moonshot on a set and you're special effects artists. In fact, you're exactly the guys that would have hired to do this kind of thing in the first place. That's not the point. So for this test, NASA has given us a lunar regolith simulant. It's manufactured to test equipment that is going to the moon. It's very similar to lunar dust in the fact that each particle is very sharp. Dirt on Earth has been weathered, so it's very smooth. So this is as close to lunar dust as we can get. This is the moment of truth. We've got an accurately shaped and textured moon lander, and we've concocted an accurate moon surface that has the same reflectivity index as the actual moon. There's time for just one final test, and not just any old test, but the ultimate proof of man's moon mission. Is that it? That's the return from Apollo 15. Light returning from the laser retro reflector at exactly the wavelength and distance that we were expecting. Is that it? So get over it. There's no conspiracy here. We've been there. We've done that.